there. I've done lots of accordion flowers here using pattern paper and working with the design of the paper. And many of them work with the popular chevron patterns. Um, this flower uses this chevron paper and I'm going to be showing you how to make flowers like this. It depends on whether you cut the paper uh, with the dark color out or the light color out and how you fold it as to the different looks that you get. So we'll look at several uh, like that in a moment. You can also do a lot of interesting things with chevrons that have multiple colors to them depending on which colors you cut out. For this flower I worked with just this portion of the stripe. If I used this portion I would create a completely different look with the flower. Also because the, the points were so deep um, I added another layer of uh, paper behind this so when I cut it out I glued it uh, very securely onto another paper and then folded it and worked from there. Here's another example where I used just a section of the paper and got a very different color arrangement than I would if I'd used uh, other chevrons. The pinwheel kind of center for this flower is covered in another video that I have on accordion flowers and I'll link that uh, to this video and also on my blog. Another example and you'll see some more of this paper later on. You can also do some interesting things that are not chevron papers but that are other uh, different types of pattern paper. This paper, for example, has a really pretty chevron on the back that we'll be working with, but I really like this um, uh, argyle design as well, and so I cut um, a strip and cut along the argyle design to create this flower, and it came out to be one of my favorites uh, for my project. If you have uh, punches, you can use an edge punch and score in between each of the scallops in this case to create this design. Washi tape works on your accordion flowers too. For this uh, flower I used this paper and I edged it with some washi tape. Just wrapped some washi tape around the edge before I did my folding and I didn't worry about the design where I folded since this had a very uh, didn't have a, a symmetrical design to it, but I still got kind of an interesting two-tone effect uh, to the flower. This is another one of my favorites. I used this paper and I worked with the pink and red um, flowers and I just cut along the outside edge of those flowers and it created a point and then a lot of space between so again I put a second paper behind it uh, to give it a little bit more uh, security and um, to hold a little bit better as I was uh, creating the flower but with the way I scored it I got a pink flower, a green flower, a pink flower and so forth and stripe papers also make great accordion flowers for this one I worked with one of the blue stripes out, but you would get a completely different effect if you did the other stripes. And I didn't do any fancy cutting, I just folded this one up, um, probably it looks like about half inch increments is where I scored it, folded it up, and got an interesting flower just working out of the stripe paper. So now let's take a look at how uh, we can create some of these flowers using the chevron papers. So let's make an accordion flower using a chevron paper to see how the different ways you cut it create different effects. I'm going to be working with this green and white chevron from uh, my mind's eye and I'm going to cut really close to the green edge. So now I have one piece that will have the green edge and another piece that will have the white edge, so I need to trim this one down. Without any extra cutting, I have uh, two pieces for uh, two different flowers, and let's look at how to score them. I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard. You could use any scoring tool. And what you want to do is to score along, to position them so that the, uh, the points are in a groove. So you'll have to move them as, as you go along. So I'm just putting a score line 
at this um, point and then I'm going to move the next point to a uh, mark in the scoreboard and just continue along. And I'm going ahead and doing this with both pieces. Now just with different edges showing, I would get a different look even if I folded them exactly the same way. But I'm going to fold them a little bit different. Um, it, when you're working with a chevron, you get a different effect depending on whether you take the, the outside point and you fold it down or you fold it up. So on this lighter colored one, I'm going to fold it so that the um, the long point is going on down. So it'll be at the bottom of my flower. And for the one with the green edging, I'm going to fold the the point so the outside point so it comes up. So the lower, deeper, or I guess I don't know what to call it. The outside point. Um, I'm going to fold that so it's popping up instead of down. So it'll go up. Okay, and when I get them folded, what I want to do is glue them uh, around in a circle so I can decide, figure out where the best way to trim this is going to be. End up trimming that little end off. This end. Ideally, you want your seam down in. Side a, po a point that's going down. And I'll just set that aside to dry and I'm going to do the other one. To put your accordion flowers together, um, you can use the thick glue dots, the half inch pop dots, those work really well, uh, but they take longer to set up. Um, a hot glue gun is probably the fastest way of doing it, especially if you are going to be doing uh, a lot of these. It's the most cost effective. So you just press your flower into a circle. And you can work right side up and place this over the top of the glue, or you can flip it over. Hold everything together and then place your glue on top. And just try to keep your points evenly distributed. kind of hold that together. And then um, you can add a little glue to the center and put uh, something over the middle. I think I'm actually going to use a little bit more glue and use a brad for this one. As thick as this is, I don't even really have to open the brad. Just press it down in there. Okay, let's do the white one, and you can already see the difference. See a big difference whether the white's out or the green's out, and whether the points go down or the points go up. 
So we have two very different looks from the same paper, whether we put the green on the outside or the white on the outside, whether we put the points going down or the points going up. And to give you an illustration, um, a further illustration, I did took the same paper, I did a little bit smaller one, but it's still cut with the green on the outside. I just did the green points going down on this one. So even with the, the, the um, paper cut the same way, you get a very different look depending on which way you fold them. And then there's one other way you can fold chevron that, that changes the look altogether. Now with this little mini shape chevron, the first one that I did, I did it the way we, we were doing the others. I cut the, the strip and cut along the design and then I did a score line at both the, at all of the points, whether the points went up or the points went down and that created this uh, flower. Now I'm going to take one and show you what it looks like if you only score at the, the high point. or you could score only at the low point. You get a different effect. It gets, creates a thicker flower, of course, but it also creates a different look. So here's our other flower with the um, score lines only on one, either the inside point or the outside point or the down point or the up point, whichever way you want to look at it, but not at every uh, possible place that you could put a score line for your chevron, you get a very different appearance than you do if um, you're working with one where you've put your uh, score lines at all of the points. So just lots of different looks with the chevron papers and with any of your different um, printed papers.